Hello scholars and welcome to the Bobcat Book Corner. My name is Ms. Bordnaro and I am a third grade teacher at Bronx Excellence 2. Today we're going to read a really great book. It's called We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. Now I know you're going to love it. We all need a little bit of a laugh right now. So enjoy. Hey kids, you will never be eaten by a T-Rex. They are extinct. I promise. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Finally, the big day came. And Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were... Children! So, she ate them because children are delicious. Penelope Rex, said Mrs. Noodleman, we do not eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. It was lonely. When she got home, her dad asked about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you meet your classmates? Well, maybe. Sort of, just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard, but poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Omato again. And they were all afraid of her. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Chomp! Eee! cried Penelope. He's eating my finger. Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. She stopped eating her classmates, even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon Penelope made friends. Found you! Want a brownie? I helped make them. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter the goldfish stares right back at her and licks his lips. Because dinosaurs are delicious. The end. I hope you love that book just as much as I do. And I hope you stay tuned for the next read aloud in our Bobcat Book Corner. Bye, scholars.